Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your daily taroscope for December 29th, 2019. If you are new to this channel, my name is Daquan Jones. Welcome. We are going to pull some cards for today and see what comes up for December 29th, 2019. So thanks so much for joining. Also, if you are new to this and you'd like to continue to see more content, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. No, YouTube does not notify you unless you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So make sure that you do that so that you don't miss out on any new content. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. So let's see what we are getting. And of course, on December 29th, Mercury will enter Capricorn. So now we have Mercury leaving this Sagittarius energy of this optimism and this higher knowledge and moving into Capricorn where we have this huge stellium. So now Mercury being added to this stellium as well. And Mercury being the way that we communicate, the way that we process information. Very much the planet of communication is coming in to Capricorn where it's going to be much more happy than it was in Sag, right? A lot going on with the Sagittarius energy wanting to go higher and seek out more information. So a ton of scattered thoughts and information going on a lot in the head. And as it comes into Capricorn, Mercury is going to feel more comfortable here where Mercury and Capricorn is going to help us be more strategic and more organized about the way that we process information. A lot of thinking that is more set towards achieving goals in your life with this Mercury and Capricorn. So very different energy. Mercury is definitely going to be much more happy as it's shifting out of Sag and moving into Capricorn where we can start to structure our thoughts, structure the way that we're thinking so that we can aim to achieve goals in our lives. So huge shift as Mercury is joining this huge stellium in Capricorn. And with this, this is highly important if you've been feeling scattered, if you've been feeling like there's a lot going on that you're trying to organize, that you're trying to structure in your way of thinking throughout the past several days now with this Mercury and Sagittarius, that this is going to be a time where you're going to feel more organized, more structured in your way of thinking, because now we're coming out of this place with all of this thought, all of this information going on, getting lost in all of the thinking and starting to actually utilize those thoughts in a way that is practical, in a way that gets us to solutions, to goals in our life. So this is about climbing to our best life. This is about living our best lives. As this whole story of this Jupiter and Capricorn has been about, is about climbing to the top. It's about crossing the finish line, getting to that high position in your life where you are successful in achieving your goals in your life in a practical way. And so now as we're coming into this more solid new year, new decade, very shortly, this energy of Mercury and Capricorn is supporting this as now it's giving us the clarity and the information to structure our lives in a strategic way that gets us across that finish line. Remember, we talked a lot about this year of the rat that we're coming into where the rat did jump on the ox's back and cross the finish line first to win the race. So what tools are you willing to utilize in your life 
What time and effort are you willing to put in to cross that finish line to your goals, to succeed, to get to the top, to hold that position of your greatest life possible? So now as everything is becoming more intense, more solid, we're having Mercury enter Capricorn now. So we're going to see this huge stack stellium, the moon just leaving Capricorn as the moon was very uncomfortable in Capricorn. The moon is seeking security. It's seeking comfort. Capricorn a little bit more serious, more goal oriented. So the moon was definitely in a weak position here in Capricorn as we've been feeling a little bit more of wanting to accomplish goals, wanting to structure things in our life. And now we're getting it as Mercury is coming in, bringing in the clarity, bringing in the information, the data, the facts, the information that we need to function in a structured, strategic way. So for those of you who have made the decision with this new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn that we saw on Christmas, that for those of you who have made the decision to move forward with this Capricorn energy, to move into your best life, to move to the top of your life, that now you are being given the guidance and the clarity to push forward. So all of this work that we've been doing since the end of this Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, with Mars entering Scorpio, pushing us forward, moving us to make something happen in our lives. Now it is a time where things are starting to become more clear, more obvious to us as we're moving forward. And for those of you who chose to go backwards, this is where things become more challenging because now Mercury, now the Sun, now Jupiter, now Saturn, Pluto, South Node are all working in Capricorn. With this Mars in Scorpio, with Uranus in Taurus, with Chiron in Aries. And so the only energy here that isn't intense is Venus in Aquarius. And so with all of this intense structured energy that is pushing us forward, challenging us, moving us forward in our lives to get to this best position, to hold that position, to cross the finish line, this is now where you are receiving the information and the clarity through this Mercury and Capricorn. So big push, big movement, definitely coming into 2020 that this is going to be the best year for those of you who are willing to push through your challenges and move forward because with all of this Capricorn energy, this is super serious. This is super intense. This is super practical about what are we going to do in the real world? How are we going to apply ourselves and utilize the tools that we have to succeed, to climb to the top? So a big shift as we're coming out of this number three year that has been all about opening up doorways and opportunities and all of the positivity, now we are coming into a more structured, more intense year where the energy is changing. And of course, as we're coming into this North Node in Gemini that we're going to see play out in the spring of 2020, now things are getting much more real as that Gemini North Node is going to pull out the facts, the data, the information. This is no longer a space of just going with your belief systems, just going with the way that you think it looks. There's something here where the truth is the most important thing as we're coming into this intense year. This authenticity is highly important because once again, we're going to see this major split in the collective huge split where people are going to go backwards and people are going to go forward. Huge split in the collective as those of us who are choosing to move forward are moving into a parallel reality. 
right? And not physically, spiritually and energetically, we're moving into a parallel reality. So we are moving into a completely different reality, completely different paradigm, but many people being left behind, choosing to go backwards on this journey, on this path. And so as this comes into full swing, we are going to see Mercury come into trine with Uranus on the 30th. This energy has been building for a while now as we've seen all of the planets now make aspects to Uranus. So Mercury coming into this trine with Uranus now, trying to elevate us, trying to take us to a higher level in our beliefs, in our values, in our relationships, in everything that we hold a connection and a value in as Uranus is in Taurus, is in our foundation, this collective view, this shift into a higher consciousness, into a higher reality with Uranus in Taurus, that how we go higher now is in Taurus. So remember that Taurus, very physical, very much grounded in reality. And so a lot of people trying to escape into a higher spiritual realm, a lot of people losing touch with reality. This is not the time to do that. This is the time to focus on your physical values, on your physical reality, the things that you need to master in this physical plane. Because as we move farther, we're going to see a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius that's going to stick at the end of December 2020. And this is going to open up a gateway in our spirituality. This is going to take us to a higher level. So many people trying to escape to a higher spiritual level too early on this journey. This is the time to focus on the physical needs in your environment, focusing on the reality, what it looks like, what are the stories that you tell yourself because as the south node moves into Sagittarius it is going to once again with this north node in Gemini bring out the truth the facts the information that is going to prove a lot of your beliefs your stories to be wrong with the information that comes out and of course as we pull for today, we get the lovers, which is the Gemini card of this duality once again that we're going to see in 2020 with the North Node shifting into Gemini, creating a collective split between the people who are willing to accept the facts, the information that is coming out and those who are against it. And there's a big thing here about learning. There's a big thing about being open to new experiences because as many of you know, Gemini is a open, scattered, minded energy that is open to learning new information. Gemini is not a focused energy. When we think of Gemini, we think of intelligence, not a focused intelligence, an intelligence that is open, that is adaptable, changeable, flexible ready to learn new and different things. Gemini is an energy that bounces from one thing to the next. It's collecting data and information from everywhere. And so there's something big here about having an open, neutral perspective and being able to see from all the angles. And there is a lot of people who are not willing to do this. There's a lot of people who are going to be stuck. Remember that the South Node is in Capricorn. A lot of people stuck in their own ways of doing things, in their own values, in their own traditions that are outdated, that no longer serve them in their lives. And so those of you who are in this Gemini energy of being open 
to new experiences, to new information, to new ways of seeing from multiple different perspectives, this is where you're going to get your information. This is where you're going to be able to see what others are not. As the North Node shifts into Gemini, it's opening up multiple perspectives. Remember that anytime you put an energy in Gemini, it splices it up into different pieces. Gemini is able to shift into different spaces. And so there's something big here about being open and being able to see from different perspectives. 